Okay, so I got the uh, my device built here. There's my motor. I got my uh, flywheel on the end here with uh, a magnet, and that's used in conjunction with this sensor. And that sensor will use it as an RPM gauge. Okay. So there's the box, on-off switch, potentiometer, RPM, all the cables, and then there's a fan in the back here. Okay. Now I had some issues. Uh, one, these cables are so heavy, uh, and this plastic here is very, very brittle. And so, yeah, I had some issues. The fan didn't quite fit in here because there's so much crap in here. So I had to move it back, and when I went to move it back, I tried cutting a little bit of plastic with a pair of side cutters, and it broke it. So it's just taped in here for now. I'm going to reprint a whole new one, make it a little bit bigger uh, eventually. So, um, but it does work. So, um, turn the switch on. Lights on, and here it's powered off still because this switch. So I'm going to turn this switch on right here, and that'll put power. And you'll see the RPM gauge come on, and the fan should now be spinning. Did you see it there? So you can see it if I shut it off. You can, you can see it turn in there. And stop, turn on, boom, done. Okay, so now the potentiometer I changed out. I had a bunch. This is the original one that came on there, and it's a 250K, I believe. Uh, I ended up figuring out the, the range going through trial and error with uh, the ohm meter and, and when it starts and when I want to max out. Because this thing, I was getting over 5,000 RPM, this motor, and it's only rated for four. So I wanted to change the, the resistance on that so I can't go over that. So I figured out that I need, and, and the start position, I had to turn the 250 ohm meter up almost like halfway to get it to, before it started turning. So it's a waste. Um, so I ended up getting a 100K ohm potentiometer. And then I put, a, I put a 27 ohm extra resistor on there, but it just wasn't enough. So I ended up putting a 39, because that's all I had. And it actually almost works out perfectly. So if I, if I go in here, um, this will start turning, I'll put here because the RPM gauge I have to hold. Just barely move it and it's turning. And if I take the RPM gauge and hold it over here, you'll see I got it at 300. Okay. So now if I go back to the potentiometer, and you can hear it winding up. And that's full blast. And you'll see that I'm getting about 32 to 33 RPM. So, and then I find this, this thing takes a long time to re-zero if it's not moving, okay? So, anyway, I, uh, 32, 33 RPM is probably enough for the lathe. I was hoping maybe to get a little bit more, you know, close to 4,000. But if I change that resistance, that means... Um, it'll start too soon, I believe. So, you know, if I change that end resistant to 25, all of a sudden instead of, you know, 139, I got 135, and that's beyond the start and stop point of where I want the uh, uh, start resistance to be, so.